A community is rallying behind a local bagel shop after its lease was abruptly cut short. Capital Bagel Bakery is set to close this weekend after decades of serving breakfast in Alexandria. But its owners say they're not closing because they want to. Hatzavella has a story. Have a good day. Next, what bagel you want? Some say it's an Alexandria landmark. What kind of cheese do you want? Uh, it's been around longer than some of its customers, almost 30 years. I remember coming here when I was in elementary school. It's not like McDonald's and Subway. Caroline Land is now a senior at T.C. Williams High School. The bagel shop has been her go-to hangout since freshman year. It's a mom and pop place and we need more of those. <laughs> It's nice to have places like this for your kids to go. Adults as well often sit back, enjoy a bagel with their crossword puzzle. But come Monday, doors to Capital Bagel Bakery will close. May I help you, sir? With a year left on their lease, store owners say they were told they had to be out in 30 days. A spokesperson for Washington Real Estate Investment Trust, the company that manages Bradley Shopping Center, says for some time, this particular store struggled to meet its obligations as a tenant. Unfortunately, despite the sincere and best efforts of all involved, this is no longer possible for us as the owner of the center. Not so, says manager Gonzalo Scamilla. He says they've paid rent on time and they can prove it. We are just asking them for more time, you know, while we find out another space to move. Fell in love with it once we came in. This couple has been coming here since before baby Cole was born. One of the few places where mom could eat without getting sick during her pregnancy. There's hundreds, probably thousands of people weekly coming in here. Sometimes we can't even eat here because the line's so long. It doesn't make sense at all. It's just really upsetting. So far, the bakery has collected more than 2,500 signatures on change.org. A little hope from both customers and workers. So they're supposed to close tonight, but they're going to continue to open throughout the weekend and tomorrow a protest is expected one last attempt at convincing management to keep the store here reporting from alexandria hatsavala abc7 news